Got one of the keys they have in the music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The key of freaking awesome. Cool, yes. Yeah, yeah, something that aggrandizes me would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <Cool. laughs> I took my mind for a walk. Well, I was lost, I was a stranger. And on the road there was a fall. And on the left, the signs of danger. And all the other lines to the right, to the right. And said, for safety, go down here. Come down here. But then the other lines went in fight. And I'll fight him. And this time, he knows no fear. Now I met him on her. Just the right folk. I wouldn't say that. It's just a, <laughs> too highbrow. I wouldn't say highbrow. that. It's a bit of nonsense. It's a bit too highbrow. Say it's nice. But, yeah. Sorry, I meant two eyebrows. <laughs> oh, oh, the absorption. Two eyebrows more than me. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, right, that's, right. That's, uh, that is a great lyric. <laughs> I used to be one of three, but now I'm actually twin. One of them merged into me And I guess I just absorbed you No, you ate him I absorbed him No, you ate him My show, I absorbed him Did you eat him? My show, I absorbed him <laughs> Go, Mr. Tony, go You look a bit like a 19th century motor explorer Go, no, Mr. Tony, go! The eighth best comic in the world! <laughs> the eighth best comic in the world. Well, it's my list, so... <laughs> <laughs> That too, is that a bit arrogant? Do you think? Oh, it's arrogant. arrogant. Should I have gone lower? You should have gone first on your own list. Oh, yeah, good point, because I suppose it's arrogant being eighth. I've sort of yeah. might as well have gone first. <laughs> <laughs> they missed a trick there. <laughs> so, I mean, but also, so who's, who's the seven? Everyone wants to know the top seven. Nobody wants to know the thousands I jammed behind me. <laughs> <laughs> who's number a thousand? I don't know. I don't have the list in front of me. In fact, it's pretty much a muddle back there. I mean, you could make, I haven't really numbered them, but they're all there. The eighth, uh, top eight. Who's, who's seven? Who's seven? Well, normally we're in that smaller room upstairs and there's never more than seven comedians in at one time. <laughs> so there it is. <laughs> there's a few in now, but the lights are brighter here, so I can't really tell exactly, but they know who they are. They're, like, <laughs> they're on the top seven. They're in the top seven, along with Steve Martin in his white suit in the yeah. 70s. There's no way you can go out with them. A little bit of Steve Martin, so he's up there, and uh, well, also it's it's easy to keep the list nice and short because there's no room for dead comedians, such as oh, all the good, loads of good dead comedians out there, Sean Locke, <laughs> <laughs> Stuart Lee. They're not, they're not dead. Oh, you just haven't really been able to deal with it yet, have you? <laughs> Stuart's doing the show in here. Oh yes, in this room. Oh fuck, the song this morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. They're just dead to me. <laughs> so Mr. Tony go. The eighth best comic in the world. He said it. Go Mr. Tony go. Take it down now. Seems like the show's petering out a bit again. 
much like his so-called pets, but no punchlines or endings. <laughs> He's sort of ending the show on a bit of a doze. This is a very unsatisfying way to finish. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's starting to build it up again. <laughs> build it up, build it up. Emotionally manipulating the audience. <laughs> Tim Minchin taught me one thing. You gotta make him think something more got on him. Then here's a man doing a bunch of rubbish jokes like me. Go, Mr. Tuck. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>